गुड इवनिंग सर 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 गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग टू यू सर सर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन वन सेकंड वन सेकंड स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज this is a youtube live event uh, you can put your questions separately on the comment box of youtube live uh, so like i'll i'll be you know answering your questions you know every next day so this is
Yeah. Shall we start? Here we go. A very good evening to one and all present over here students. I can see huge number of students back again here on YouTube live and various different platforms out there. And today we are going to discuss back again some fantastic features with respect to Scratch and how to code different areas. So today we are going to again the second day of Code India Code. I would like to request all the students uh, to participate in this program. Call your friends and let them know about this free event that's happening right now. You don't really have to pay anything. You just have to come on YouTube and you'll get to learn lots and lots of things. At the same time, we can have a lot of fun as well. Yeah, I can see students like Antrika, Samaira, Mukesh, Meher, Anushka. I have Ashraya, some of the students from yesterday as well. Yeah, thank you so much. Students, if you have any queries, you can just put it on the YouTube live link, uh, you know, on the comment sections and I'll be going through one by one. Yeah, Ansh, you came back again. Ashi, you came back again. Shivam, thank you so much. Fantastic. Let's quickly start. So just like the way we start on a daily basis, what do we do first? We play game, right? Shall we play a game, everybody? Yeah, you like that? Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you one simple technique. I'm going to say a simple rule. And based on that rule, you have to respond to me. Let's, let's, let's. Am I able to see everyone? Are you able to see me? Yeah, you are all able to see me. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is, Say, for example, um, if I have to tell you about, um, um, you know, a particular direction. Now, suppose Adish is my friend and I tell Adish, hey, Adish, look at your 12 o'clock. I'll repeat it. Hey, Adish, look at your 12 o'clock. Have you heard such kind of statements? I mean, why would you call somebody and say that, look at your 12 o'clock? That's a wrong English, right? You should say that, look at the clock. There's 12 o'clock in that. You have to say something like that. No, but there is there is a colloquial language. There is a you know sign language. Everybody has secrets. Okay, so if I have to say Adish, Adish, look at your back sign, then I'll tell Adish, look at your six o'clock. The students who are interested in games, the students who play a lot of games like Fortnite, PUBG, or any mission games out there, they might know what I'm trying to say. So suppose if I say, uh, students, please look at your back. Now, if I have to say, look at your back, just imagine if you're all, you know, just like a clock, wherever you're looking straight, wherever you're looking straight, that's called as 12 o'clock. And, and if I say six o'clock, which side are you supposed to look? You're supposed to look at the back side, something like that. Did you get the point? Yeah, this is going to be fun. So I'm going to tell you the clock. I'm going to tell you the time. And based on that, you have to rotate your heads and look at that particular direction. That's how I'm going to communicate. Just like the way I'm communicating with Adish, I'm going to communicate with Sharvi, Bhavesh, Adrika, Siddhiksha, Tanush, everyone. Shall we do that? Here we go. So uh, students, everyone, look at your three o'clock. Look at your three o'clock. <laughs> okay, that's wrong. Some people are looking at nine o'clock. Three o'clock, which side, which side will three o'clock come? Will it be straight? Will it be at the back? Will it be at the right or will it be at the left? Think, think, think. Absolutely, it should be there at the right side. So if I say, look at your three o'clock, everybody should turn right and look at there. Can you see your parents sitting over there on the three o'clock? No? It's a wall. Okay, parents are there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's let's go to another another area, another area. Okay. I'm going to give you another question. Let me see who first turns around properly. Everyone, students, look at your nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Oh, perfect. Okay. Majority of the students have done properly. Look at your nine o'clock. Exactly. That's 12. Then the nine has to be there on the left side. Yeah, everybody did that. Yeah. What can you see at nine o'clock? Can you see another curtain, wall, parents, brother, sister? No one? <laughs> it's a closed door. That's great. That's great. Let's go with another question. Let's see who first handles this. Who first handles this? One more question. Listen to me very carefully, students. All the students, irrespective of whichever grade you belong to, this is this is directions. Yeah, you'll, you'll understand now. Everyone, look at your six o'clock. Look at your six o'clock. Oh my God, fantastic. Everybody's doing it right now. Everybody got that. I can see all of your heads. Uh -huh. I'm able to see your hair. Yeah. Mishika, I'm able to see, who is that, Rubbish? Yeah, Sri Rubbish, Paritosh. Look at the screen now. Perfect, perfect. Everybody got that. Look at the screen now. So look at your three o'clock. We did that. Look at your nine o'clock. We did that. Look at your six o'clock. One more question. Shall we go with one more question? Huh? How about that? Yeah. So one, two, three. Everybody look at your 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Are you able to look at 10 o'clock? Where is 10? Where is 10? Count, count. 12 here. One, two, three. Okay, here. 10. Yeah, it should be the left side. Just about nine. Uh-huh. You're able to do that? 
Okay, so here's your homework, students. So what you're going to do right after the class today? The first thing what you're supposed to do is you have to call your mummy, papa, somebody, and you have to tell them, papa, look at you, ten o'clock. And your papa will not do properly. You should laugh at them. Then you should teach them. You should tell them this is what ten o'clock means. So you should start teaching your brother, your sister, or it could be your father, or your grandmother, grandfather, or your mother. Somebody today, you have to teach this, uh, you know, directions. Will you do that? Say yes. Say yes. It's a nice game, right? Just like rock, papers, and scissors. This could be a game on directions. So what I'm going to tell you over here is, whenever you know people go for fighting and all in army, you know, when the soldiers go on the field, uh, suppose if there are ten people going and there is one person at the back, he saw something coming in front. He will not, uh, you know, directly say, hey, "Look at your friend." He'll not say like that. He'll say, "Look at your twelve o'clock." That's called as a code. You know, it's it's a way you communicate a particular direction. So in this way, just like the way I have a code to communicate to someone about a direction, I want the computer to have certain code. Now, this particular code which the computer has, I need to understand that. When were you able to properly look at your three o'clock? Only when I defined that. Only when I said what three o'clock means, you were able to understand. On the same note, when a computer has to tell me something, I need to understand that. I need to love my computer. Only when you love each other, you understand each other, and then the things work. Yeah, some people are laughing. Why are you laughing? No. Okay, I'm in love with my computer, and that's the reason it understands me well. Yeah, let's let's talk about it more, students. But before going ahead, I hope everybody did some programs on Scratch. Did you install Scratch? That's great. If not, don't worry. It's very simple. You have to just go to this website called as scratch.mit.edu, and on that you can start your programming. It's pretty simple. It's very very simple. You just have to start it. And if you want to learn coding, uh, there are lots and lots of websites. Uh, I am using Scratch currently. Maybe tomorrow I'll be using something else, and day after tomorrow something else. So every day, please come to this area of YouTube Live. You can actually subscribe to this channel called as Super Teacher Official. Have you done that? When you do that, you'll be able to get the notifications of, uh, you know, um, whenever such kind of sessions are happening. So you cannot miss even a single session from my side, and we can have a lot of fun. So Super Teacher Official is the name of the channel, and you will get the link of the channel on the uh, comment section right now in another five minutes. And right after that, something more interesting is suppose if you want to learn the coding concepts. Along with some topics like storytelling or creative writing, a summer camp is going on. So I'm I'm conducting a separate training also. So you can be part of that. The name of the summer camp is Curiosity. Heard about it? Yesterday I told some of the students. I think some of you might know. So you can just go to this website called a Super Teacher, and the moment you open Super Teacher dot in, you can see Curiosity board popping up over there. You can understand like what are the topics covered? Covered like creative writing, storytelling. Uh, you have Scratch programming, MIT App Inventor, lots, lots and lots of things, including Python as well. And you can start, uh, you know, joining the class, and you can learn separately as well. It's not expensive. You can look into it. It's it's very very, uh, you know, affordable. At the same time, you can come to YouTube for seven days. Today is the second day. We'll regularly have sessions like this, and we'll have lots of fun. Shall we continue? Ash, Aishi, say say yes. That's great. <laughs> okay, like so here we go. Now some of the students out there, especially, uh, especially. Okay, I said specially. Galti se ho gaya. Oh, it's like slip of the tongue. Especially for the students who are above grade six. You know, suppose if you want to make games like, uh, you know, PUBG, games like Fortnite. Uh, have you heard this game called as Free Fire? Yeah, I play a lot of Free Free Fire actually these days. Yeah, so these are some of the games that even you can develop. It's not at all you know that difficult, but it requires a gradual learning. What are the different you know elements? The best part of gaming, Nidhi, is that you know you create the challenge and you only solve it. Just imagine if if I if I if Prerna makes a game in such a way that it's full of mazes. Yeah, and she knows how to solve that maze. I mean, Prerna knows how to solve it. But if she gives that game to me for the first time, will I be able to do it? No, because she has created a challenge in such a way that only she can solve and not others. But when one day somebody is able to solve it, they'll be like, "Hey, Prerna, see, I have solved your challenge." On a similar note, the best part of gaming is you get to create your own surrounding. So if you want to make a game like PUBG, you can make your own surrounding. You can have your own house, your own hospital, your own helicopter, or a plane from where you can just fall off with a parachute. You've done that, right? Yeah. So for such kind of learnings, initially, if you want to learn, you can start with Scratch and various other programming softwares. Or else, there are softwares like you can make a note of it. Softwares or websites like gaming engines. 
So today your homework will be what a game engine is all about. You can learn about it. So for gaming engines, some of the websites are unity.com. You know about unity.com? U-N-I-T-Y. Yeah, Avantika, no. Some of you might know, Akshya might know. That's great, that's great, that's great. So, okay, fine, unity.com. There is, there is one more game engine called as Unreal Game Engine. I think PUBG was made from Unreal. I'm not really sure. Unreal, U-N-R-E-A-L. Yeah, see, I am the only person who's supporting you to play games. D do your parents allow? No, no. They say, if you have to study for three hours, then half now you have to play, right? That's how it is supposed to be. Yeah, gaming should not be an addiction students. Per day, one hour, one and a half hours, or maximum two hours. If you get good marks, maybe probably two and a half hours. <laughs> That's fine. But anyways, you have to play. You have to play and you have to design. More than playing the game, you have to design the game. That's that's the whole motive. So let me show you something right now. I am going to show you Scratch software. And on that, today we are going to have lots and lots of fun. So today what we are going to do is we're going to make a small... Um, game in the form of a story. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some proper guidance on that and you should all be following along with me. In case if you want to do parallelly along with me, that's a good job or else right after the session, you can do it separately also. Shall we go? Shall we start doing it? Are you ready for it? Yeah. So I go over here and I shared the screen and uh, this is how it looks like okay see i've made one small game called like on, on scratch let's see if it works or not hey by the way there'll be a music that will be coming right now you have to tell me if you know this music if you know you have to just raise your hands yeah it's a thumbs up or something like that you can just show on your video here we go one two three heard about it yeah okay i can see some people raising their hands and you can see the cat going over there the cat has to reach the top by the time the bear reaches my friend. I need to go and save. Oh, this is so slow. <laughs> I'm not able to go fast. Oh my god. Oh. I'm done. Unfortunately, the bear ate my chick. Yeah, so the chick is chick was my friend actually. So shall we try that again once more? <laughs> I'll do that. Let me try that. So I go over here. <laughs> I think this game is very tough. I need to either make the bear a little slow or, or you know, oh, I think, were you able to see the bear? I'm not really sure. Yeah. So I think I have to do something with the program for it to properly work because the cat is still here and the bear is there. It has already eaten my chick. Okay. That's sad. We will be discussing about it. So let me just uh, come over here and, and, and yeah, the question is, have you heard this music for, for the, like ever, ever before in your life? Yes, no, no, yes. Yeah, some of you have heard about it. This is actually Super Mario. Yeah, Super Mario, you remember? Back in those days, the small games and all. Some of you might know, some of you might not know. So this is actually Super Mario. And, and from there, I have taken the music and I've put it over here. Now, how to do all of these things? Let's, let's learn it one by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new layout. Yeah, it's completely new layout. Now for us to understand, uh, if I, I if I, I really need to have, let's make a simple game. Let's not have bear and lot, lots of things. Let's let's make a cat which which has to cross the maze and go on the other side. That's it. We'll make a simple game. Now, if the cat has to reach on the other side of the maze, what do you need? What do you need? I need the maze. Where can I get the maze from? Yeah, the most important, right? I can see the cat. Okay. Okay, it has to reach on the top somewhere over here, but in between I need the maze and for to get the maze or enough what you can do is you can go to this website called as mazegenerator.net. You can make a note of it mazegenerator.net. So let me go to that website called as mazegenerator.net. Yeah, this is how it looks like I just type maze generator and this is how it gets populated over here. I open it and this is how it looks like. So here in this case. Let me go up and fix this guy. Okay, so here in this case, I have to just type the width, the height, the inner width, inner height, all the things will be there. Uh, the style has to be square cells, absolutely. And the moment I click on generate, you can see that the maze got generated over here. Sana, did you get that? 
Yeah. So you have to go to mazegenerator.net and you simply have to click on generate new. Now, when I click on generate new, I'll get another maze over there. So in this way, you can get thousands and thousands of maze and you can keep adding it in your game. So whenever you want to increase the level, level one may chota sa maze, level two may thoda bada sa maze, level three may or bhi bada. So you can actually, you know, uh, in a hierarchy, you can increase it. So right after that, what you're supposed to do, you have to go over here, you know, wherever it is written PDF, you have to go and change that to PNG. You know what? Even you will get the solution also. See, I'll show you. Uh, PNG with the solution. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I click on the solution. Can you see the solution? See? You got the solution also, but I, I don't want the solution. I, I just want a random PNG. Just I select it. I click on generate new and I got this. Can you see the exit point over here and the entry point over here? Yeah, you, you are able to see that just Raj. That's great. I click on download. The moment I click on download, it gets downloaded on my computer. As simple as that. Now, everybody watch my computer carefully. I go to scratch and after coming to scratch, I need this white screen to become my maze. So I need to get the maze inside over here. For that, what I'm supposed to do, there is an option over here, choose a backdrop. I hope everybody's able to see this. Right after that, choose a backdrop. Don't click on this. You can go and click on upload backdrop. I, ho I hope everybody's able to see this option, upload backdrop. Click on upload backdrop and the one which got downloaded the latest, I, I just click on that and boom, here we go. We got that. That's nice, right? I got the maze. I got the cat. I got the maze. And this is the backdrop over here. But this cat is too big for the maze. So I have to reduce the size of the cat. Do you remember from where we can actually reduce the size of the cat? Everyone? Yeah, you know it, right? You have to go to the code on the top. You have to go to the code. And here you have the option of size. I select Sprite. It's written as 100. Now let me make it tiny kitten. Now if I have to make it tiny kitten, let me make it 20. Ooh, can you see that? Okay, it, it's quite small. I can I can just, you know, uh, decrease the size even to 10. How about that? Now, okay, I got the cat. Perfect. I'm keeping the cat over here. Now, what do I need to do? Suppose, suppose if the cat has to go and meet uh, his friend, uh, which is actually a chick, you know, so I, I go back over here. I, I, in, I click on choose a sprite. And right after that, I type another friend of my cat, which is a chick. Can you see this chick? Yeah. Do you want a rooster? Akshu? No? Hen? No? Chick. Chick is cute. I'll click on chick. Here we go. We got the chick. Yeah, chick is bigger than the cat. It, it seems as if the cat is the egg of chick. You no. <laughs> Let me reduce the size of the chick to uh, back again, suppose, say, 15. Yeah, it's quite small. I click on this chick and I put it over here. Done. Whatever I require, everything is done. Can I start playing the game? Itna hi tha kya? No, we cannot play the game. We have to program it. That is the most difficult part. We have to start programming it right now. And it's very simple. Don't worry. Now, whenever the cat has to move up, down, left, right, what am I supposed to do? I need the keyboard, right? On the keyboard, you have up down left right some of you might be using the tab and all i think you're using some of you might be using ipad or tabs you know for that also you have separate options you can get the on-screen virtual keyboard even on that you can perform the same activity but now as we have got all the elements over here now we can start programming let me let me stop share the screen for a moment yeah i have some important information to give you over here students just remember one very important thing whenever whenever you have a problem you know it could be a problem of not doing the homework it could be a problem of you're very hungry but you're not getting anything it could be a problem of you fell down and your shirt got dirty and you have to show it to your mother you try to hide it by chalk and all right you try to do that but it's been such a long time since you've gone to the school so i don't really know but the point is whenever there is a problem always try to break the problem into smaller parts okay first of all i will be going to the house if i go to the house mama will open the door okay mama should not see me properly so what should i do i ring the bell and i hide on the other side right or something like that so mama will come outside and see na and at that time you can run inside the house and immediately you can go to the bathroom 
and then you can just remove your uniform and put in your washing machine you can do whatever you want but the point is try to disintegrate the problem into smaller parts i do not know how you will be doing but do that now once you break a big problem into small parts then try to solve the smaller parts if you have not done your homework you're back again in the school um in that particular period when the teacher is going to come uh you what you can do what you can do either you can tell the teacher teacher maine homework kiya par ghar pe notebook bhul gaya have you done that ever no <laughs> it's been one year you have gone to the school you can't even say that now yeah but still you can come up with excuses but and the best part is suppose that homework teacher did not come to the school you will be the happiest acha maine homework nahi kiya teacher chutti mein aaj something like that yeah but the point over here is students here it was a maze game right i needed to understand to solve a maze game what are the components required and for that component i have identified i need a cat no it's a kitten i need a maze i got the maze and finally i need a small chick with whom the cat will meet and you know they'll be like i saved you or something like that here we go let me quickly share the screen back again and show you the program we've got this now what we are supposed to do is whenever i press the up arrow button whenever i press the up arrow button are you able to hear me whenever i press the up arrow button yeah the cat has to move up so for that yahan par if you see the scratch programming software it has multiple pages depending on the number of sprites how many sprites do you have two sprites over here one is the cat one is the chick so there are two pages can you see this is cat you know sprite page number 1 this is sprite page number 2 so sprite page number 1 now the cat has to move whenever i press the up arrow button the cat has to move the chick should not move the chick should remain the same at the same place so for that i have to click on page number 1 which is sprite number 1 or the cat or the kitten over here and start my program over here so what i'm going to do is very simple and interesting i go to this block called as if and i drag and drop now what do you mean by if anybody knows that yeah if i press the up arrow button the cat should go up are you ready let's let's do this let's do this now how should i go with up arrow button up arrow button is actually something where you perform an activity just raj and if i have to perform an activity it's called as sensing now if i speak to sana sana will respond to me only when she is able to hear me because she is able to sense that i'm talking when when will the keyboard work the keyboard will work only when you press the arrow key how will the keyboard know that you are pressing the arrow key only when you touch it but you have to tell that to the computer na nahi to kaise pata chalega how will it know so you have to go to this option called as sensing everyone once you understand this right after this you can make so many games so i've got sprite one i have clicked on sensing and i've got touching mouse pointer can you see this touching mouse pointer i have got touching color see everything is related to sense 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 okay color is touching this distance to mouse pointer what not ha huh, i got the option see this key space pressed and i click on space i have a arrow did you get that yeah let's drag and drop if up arrow is pressed i should make the cat move up do you remember if anything has to go up or straight which clock it is come on come on come on hurry up 12 12 perfect perfect it's called as 12 1 2 12 so for it to go to 12 students look at here like yahan par there is an option on the top in motion called as point in direction are you able to see this yeah now when i click on this can you see a clock over here uh huh now you have to change its arrow and make it to 12 so if a arrow key is pressed point in direction 0 See when I put this, uh, you know, arrow mark on the top over here, it shows it's zero. It's like pointing on the north. So north direction is zero. Let's let's see south. What is the direction? It's one eighty. It's in the angle one eighty. Now if it has to be at three o'clock, what is the angle? It's ninety. Okay. And if I have to come with nine o'clock, it's it's minus ninety. Okay, that's okay. No problem. I go with zero right now. Yeah, I have clicked on. So if a arrow key is pressed, I have to point in direction zero, that is on the top, and I have to go up. So I click on move ten steps. That's it. Is the program ready? Yeah, it is ready. Now so look at this. Look at this. Now this particular thing has to work all the time. So I go to control, and there is an option called as forever. I click on forever. Yeah, 
now there is an option called as forever so yahan pe you can see that there are two options called as repeat and forever yesterday we saw repeat if you remember now today we are seeing forever forever means this particular action whenever i press the up arrow key all the time it should work and if it has to work all the time it's like zindagi bhar forever did you get the point so that's why i i i just go to if and i put it over here that's it now when i click on forever students watch this this is my hand i'm going to the keyboard 1 2 3 and i'm pressing can you see the cat moving up oh my god but the cat is not coming down can somebody say why no we have not programmed it exactly yeah we have not programmed it devanjana that's right i just right click now now if i have to make that program sana it's very simple i just have to click on right click and i have to click on duplicate and i come over here after duplicating it up arrow key i'll change it to down arrow see i've got the program for up arrow i've got the down arrow but remember if i have to press down arrow it should be pointing down can somebody tell me what which, which clock it is which clock it is you have to show in your hand which clock is uh, clock it is if it has to come down come on come on students put it on your okay that's right it has to be 6 absolutely it has to be 6 o'clock so i click on point and direction and i bring it to 180 degree did you get that yeah now now let us put it uh, like inside the forever now let us see if the cat is coming down i am taking my fingers right on the top and coming to the keyboard and i'm pressing the down arrow and the cat is coming down up down both the performance is done but what is this this cat is jumping all the walls these black lines it is not supposed to cross that right but why is it not doing because we haven't programmed it are you able to understand now how to program that i'll tell you one by one we got the three things what are the three things that we got we got the cat the kitten basically the chick and the maze three components already ready right after that what did we do we wanted the cat to move up and down and for that we gave an operation called as up and down but does it have to move left and right of course it's a maze game i have to go with left and right as well so what i do i again duplicate this and i come and bring over here again i duplicate it and i put it over here i think everybody is enjoying this so instead of down arrow i'm making it left arrow instead of down arrow i'm making it right arrow can everybody tell me if left arrow which clock it is left means it should be 3 o'clock am i right am i right 3 o'clock no okay it should be 9 o'clock i understand so i go over here it should be minus 90 that's great and here i go with the 3 o'clock which is over here that's perfect both are attached and it comes over here now let us see if my cat is performing this action 1 2 and here we go the cat is moving up the cat is moving down the cat is moving left and the cat is moving right wow my program is almost done hey but did you watch this if i move left ye cat ulta ho gaya see let me enlarge and show you can you see the cat it's literally hanging i go right it is fine but left it is hanging <laughs> shall we make it straight you remember how to do that okay i'll tell you for that what you are supposed to do you remember yesterday we had seen one option called as change left to right change the direction so then in in the motion there is something called as rotation style and in that rotation style i'll make it left to right so whenever left arrow key is pressed i'll put this over here ha uh, now my cat will become proper ah uh, can you see that i'll go with the bigger screen now you can see that up down left right perfect perfect now let me come back is the program done Yeah, the game is almost done. No, the game is still not done, students. Let me place the cat over here. Now, the most important, the most important, if this cat has to properly go through the maze, I need to direct it in such a way that it doesn't cross the wall. And if I have to decrease the speed of the cat, see, the speed of the cat is very fast. I can decrease it by reducing the number of steps. Rather than giving move ten steps, I'll give only chalo two steps. two steps okay two steps and two steps now let me see let the program run and the cat is moving slow perfect this is perfect now when does when does the cat you know does not hit the wall this is the most important program students a uh, most important problem please watch the screen carefully 
watch the screen carefully now here in this case i have to tell the cat hey cat see you whenever you go and hit a wall you're not supposed to cross that now let me give you one example let me stop share the screen okay yeah <sighs> okay now listen to me very carefully suppose samarth is there okay now what happened is samarth is running at full speed okay full speed like the kitten samarth is going at full speed suddenly there is a huge wall in front of uh, samarth what will samarth do he will stop suddenly he will see that and he will stop and he will change the direction and start running now comes an interesting part now there is another person person called as uh, say for example tanvi tanvi meets samarth you know what she does is she calls samarth hey samarth come here i'm going to blindfold you you know what blindfolding means yeah aankh band kar dena exactly so she's actually going to blindfold samarth and she says that now run now samarth is going to run at full speed now samarth does not know there is a wall in front what will happen to samarth full speed samarth will go and bang on the wall and he'll come and fall back <laughs> suppose if it's like a harry potter movie have you seen harry potter movie they dash on the wall and they go to hogwarts they go to another world but in reality that doesn't happen in reality samarth's nose got broken so to avoid that what am i supposed to do i need to tell samarth hey samarth even if you're blindfolded you need to know something but student something important has happened over here whenever you go and dash the wall what happened nose broken but in action what happened anything else think 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 what happened to samarth he felt unconscious he got broken that's a different story but with respect, respect to the performance and action he was running in this particular direction after dashing what happened he came back so whenever you dash something what happens you come back a little that's what i'm going to do so the moment the cat is going to dash that wall it will come back are you ready for that watch this so what i'm going to do is i am going to say that control if 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 i bring if over here now in this case instead of kitten it's going to be samarth samarth just assume that you are the kitten right now i go to sense sync and there is this option called as touching color have you observed one thing the whole maze is black in color so whenever the cat is touching the black color it should come back it should go and hit and come back shall we do that here we go so what i go is i go and click on touching color i put it over here now i click on the pink color the moment i click on pink color can you see a dropper over here shanak trisha everyone yeah i click on the dropper and i bring the dropper here on the screen and when i bring that you can see my maze lines getting magnified and here i'm choosing this color of the maze something like this and i click that the moment i click that the color gets changed i'm going to repeat it how to set the color i'll not repeat it once more you have to click on touching color drag and drop it inside if after that inside this there is this option the color option click on that when you click on that you will get a dropper have you used a dropper no yes some of you would have done that dropper is like uh, it will have a small you know a vacuum kind of a thing you just press that and leave it it will suck water some of you if you are interested in painting you would have used that so i click on the dropper and i go to the screen after going to the screen there's a magnifying glass that gets generated and i can actually select the color so i go over here and select the black color something like okay 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 it's very sensitive it's very sensitive i click here the moment i click on the black color you can see that this is how the color got uh, you know uh, the color got listed out over here uh, uh, first it was pink color right now it's black so i can i can just make it very black by completely raising it and and uh, that's it so whenever the cat is touching so i'm there in cat whenever the cat is touching the black color what is it supposed to do swati it should dash and come back na exactly so instead of moving 10 steps instead of moving 10 steps i am going to say move minus 10 steps did you understand now but here we are actually using only two steps right so let me keep it minus two steps now let us see and whenever it is going and dashing let's make some sound It's because whenever you know samarth has gone and dashed the wall there will be huge sound yeah the sound of nose breaking right samarth i go to sounds and let's let's get some sound over here i click on this and and how about uh, nahi no this is a long sound this is guitar okay 
bark samad when you dash you bark or what no right okay okay let's 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 go with sounds like some some drum sounds okay i go with drum no you don't sound like this when you da <laughs> when you dash ah uh, this is close this is good i'll click on this okay okay this is good i'll i'll just uh, you know uh, make the sound little smaller i can do that i'll talk about this little later and i go to code and now after going after touching the color move minus step, steps i go to sound on the left side palette there's an option called a sound and i come and bring over and put it over here that's it that's it now when should this happen this should happen all the time whenever i go up i dash this should happen whenever i go down when i dash it should happen whenever i go left and if i dash it should happen so what i'll do is i'll duplicate it four times watch this tanmay this is very interesting i'll duplicate it four times and whenever there is up arrow key inside that i'll put this program watch this very carefully see right below that point and direction move two steps right below that ah my up arrow key program is done inside of this up arrow key this action is getting performed now again again i bring this and down arrow key perfect perfect i hope it's happening now let's let's go over here and put it over here now if the screen is not sufficient you can scroll it or you can you know my uh, zoom out and for this as well students let's try the program now let's try the program now now the cat is there i am using my hands going the up arrow key here we go Doom. did you see that <laughs> okay he's not able to cross the wall see we, he got caught in the maze now this is perfect this is what we wanted right now we have done the maze part shall we play the game now okay shall we play the game now okay 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 here we go so let me do something let me do something i'll enlarge this and 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 we will start playing the game here we go so i go with the cat and i dash i shouldn't dash just like someone dashed even the cat is dashing over there okay i come down i go up but you know what the most important part of any game now this is not that great this game has to be even more interesting now for a game to become more interesting what do you need you need the audio sound ke bina boring lagta na thoda sa Uh, yeah up to a certain extent so what i'm going to do is uh, right after this i'm going to get some audio inside this and let's see how it works but before that let me go and meet my chick yeah my chick is there i go okay i like the cat i'm naming this cat as samarth <laughs> i'm sure samarth's parents will be very very unhappy with me please don't mistake me parents this is for fun and samarth i hope you don't mind i come over here and i come over here Adhya, do you like cats, Adhya? Yeah, do you like chicks, Ishika? Okay, let me come over here. Hey, I'm not able to find the solution. Where am I supposed to go? It's so long. It's tough. By this time, the you know, to make game more interesting, we can have some kind of a timer and all, right? So this is the challenge to all the students out there. So right after this session. you are supposed to go back and and uh, you know figure out a fantastic way in which this game becomes interesting you can add timer you can you can have you know if you don't reach on time hey i reached i guess did i reach yeah i reached okay but why is this not moving okay i reached i reached i reached and here we go the moment i meet the chick chick becomes very happy but i have to show that right now how to do that so our game is 90% ready just raj now it what's left is you have to beautify the game charita as simple as that so let me come over here now i go to the cat now i say that this game has to begin when i click on the flag so the first thing i do to go to control uh, sorry the events and click on flag now whenever the flag is clicked i want the audio to come with dushi hai ki nahi so for the audio to come we go to the sounds now if i have to bring a new sound i go over here choose a sound and click on upload a sound i'm going to upload one sound over here you have to tell me which sound would you like to have okay i click on upload sound let me have another sound over here and you can see that importing option will come over here it will show as if it's okay we got that i'm i'm uploading the third sound which i had got okay i'm going to play the sound you have to tell me which sound is good 
Okay. One, two, three. Here we go. Have you heard the sound? Jashraj, Devanjana, Adya, no, Bhavani. Hey, some of you might know this. <laughs> Let me see who first identifies. You can put it on the YouTube comments. Come on, students. You should have known this. Khushi, Unnati, anyone? Okay, some of you. Okay, many of you already know this. This is PUBG students. Yeah. <laughs> This is PUBG. Let me stop with PUBG. Let me go with the next one. You have to tell me which sound is this. The bhoot ka was. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know this? Some of you might know. Some of you might not. Got that? Okay. Well, this is Fortnite. Yeah, the people who know Fortnite, they might know this. Anubrata, you're absolutely right. And this is my favorite, all-time favorite. What's this? Yeah, this is Mario. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want Fortnite or PUBG right now because because I find this game to be a small game. As the game is small, let's use a music which is quite small. So I go over here. I go to the code. And and right after that, whenever I click on flag, I want the sound to be started. So I go to sound, and I click on play sound, and this sound has to continuously play all the time. So I bring forever, and put it over here. Shall we check if it's working or not? Here we go. It's working. It's perfectly working. I stop this. That's okay. No problem. Now now comes interesting part. Whenever I want the cat to be present over here. You know, it could be here somewhere here. I keep it over here, something like this. Yeah, and the chick to be there. And now I play the game by going over here. Now, when I click on start, yes, this is fun. And here goes the cat. Why is the cat not moving? Ah, oh, cat is moving now. Okay, perfect. See, now the game has become much more interesting. Okay, we have lots of things to do. Okay, I got stuck. No, no, no. Yes, yes, it's going fine, perfect. Up, up. Yeah. Okay, this is quite tough. Let me, let me do stop this. Now, if I have to stop this, this is how it is supposed to be done. The game is done. Almost everyone. Now, one extra thing is, suppose if I have to make this game more interesting. Suppose if I want to have some kind of a timer. Yeah, so it like it it has to you know finish really very really fast you know something like that or else uh, the moment the cat goes and meets the chick it becomes very happy. I need to show something right? Yes, something like that, some kind of an excitement. For that you have lots of options over here again, and for that let me quickly go to one option called as variables. Yeah, so there is a variable now. Change. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use uh you know set my variable to zero initially. I'm going to make that to 60 seconds. So it has to be 60 seconds. And every second, uh, the variable has to become, you know, less. That means by the time it is zero, I should be able to reach the chick. Let me repeat it. By the time it's zero, I should be able to reach the chick. So here we go. Now let me just increase the size for you to see it properly. Yeah. So if it is set to 60, change my variable by minus one but it should happen every one second so i go to control and i go to wait one second and this has to happen all the time i go to control and i make it forever and let's see if it's working or not can you see a variable coming uh-huh so i go to variables i click on show my variable and you can see 59 over there okay okay wait one second Okay, it should work. Let's see. Wait one second, change my variable to, okay, okay. It should be outside. Let's try this now. That's great. Can you see this is working? 57, 56, 55. Okay, so I have set the timer as well. So this is how our timer is supposed to be set. You just set with the timer called as 60 seconds. And right after that, Samaira, you just have to click on change my variable by minus one and wait one second. I go to the events and I 
drag and drop flag and put it over here see some of the students don't worry if you're not able to understand you know you can you can aram se see this the video is always going to be there and you know gradually you can do along with the you know instructions i'll be waiting right after 5 minutes and before actually testing this program let me check if this program is actually working or not let's go big screen arpit are you ready we have given the time as 60 seconds within 60 seconds can we can we really go to the chick yeah let's see that let's see that i go and keep the cat over here now for me to every time go and keep the cat over here doesn't look good right so this particular position is denoted by two letters called as x and y and this is written as 9 and minus 163 so whenever the program starts whenever the program starts i go here i go to motion and i say that go to 9 and minus 163 so here we go Let's try this. One, two, three. It starts. The timer started, and let's try to go and get the chick. Here we go. Okay. 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 Come, 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 come. Jenny, did you get the point? Uh, why am I? I'm hitting the wall like Summers. I come, come, come. Oh, I got only thirty seconds left. And I'm still at the starting. I don't think I'm able to go to complete. This is so tough. I think I should have increased the time now. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. No, no. Okay. Okay. I'm dashing so much. I need to reduce the speed of this cat. Minus one, minus two. I lost. What to do? <laughs> Anyways, let me stop share the screen for a moment. Okay. Yeah. So this was May's game. So just imagine. See how how beautiful it was. We all began with a simple thing. What did we do? We tried to take the three things. What were the three things? I need a kitten. Yeah. I need the maze and I need the chick. We divided the whole problem into three small parts. Then we started having discussions on how to make the kitten move up and down. That was the best part, you know. You you saw the twelve o'clock, you saw the six o'clock, you saw the nine o'clock and three o'clock, and there was a very good option over there on ninety degree, minus ninety, zero, and one eighty. And based on that, you started programming it. Whenever I press the up arrow button, you have to look up, which is which is which is ninety? No, up zero. It was zero, right? <laughs> so click on zero and it goes up. Then click on one eighty, it goes down, and that's how you did the program. And right after doing that, you understood that it is jumping all the walls. We are not supposed to jump the walls. Whom did we take as an example? You remember, we took the example of Samarth. Everybody knows Samarth now. So Samarth, so Samarth, what did he do? He was just running very fast and he hit a wall and his nose got damaged. And we didn't want that to happen. But we understood that whenever you go and hit the wall, you come back. and for you to come back we use this option of move minus number of steps and when you do that you come back and again you move in the maze continuously and you reach the chick unfortunately in this one hour i was never able to meet my chick because the game was very tough so what you are going to do is you are going to use scratch right now right after the session and you have to start making your program one by one and make it as interesting as possible you can you can come up with various different variables you can you can have options of timer you can also have an option of you know an elephant or a bear walking it is going to come and eat the chick and by the time the chick is eaten the cat goes and saves the chick something like that can you do that yeah you have to think on all these options and you have to do it students by the way i wanted to tell you something uh, yesterday we were discussing about uh, you know different filters on zoom you remember yeah i was saying that tomorrow we'll be discussing meko yaad hai i'm going to show you so what is that called as so if i click on video filters over here it came with some kind of programming right it did not come simply like that suppose if i click on the specs yeah this is how i look like Yeah, I mean, it's it's not suiting me. So, so say for example, how about a pig? Yeah, this is cute. No, <laughs> let me let me click on a bunny. How about this? Now now some of you are laughing. Yeah, I know you'll be laughing. So that's okay, no problem. How about a girl's pant? <laughs> this is this is going to be really funny. 
Yeah, it suits my dress at least, you know. <laughs> I click on mustache. You know, I've got some mustache over there, out there. And how about this? Yeah, I want all of you to tell me what is this called as? Can somebody tell me? Can somebody tell me? This is called as something. This is pretty interesting. Yeah, you're putting on the comments. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yes, students, this is called as augmented reality. Augmented reality is one of the best forms in which you can make some kind of an animation like this. So let me let me stop this. Let me have one eyes. How about this? How does it look like? Okay, that's just one eyes. Nice. No. Okay. How about this? How about this? This also matches the cat. No, the hat. It's not cat. It's hat. So this particular thing is called as augmented reality. You can try it on your computers as well. Oh, wow. Many of you have started trying this. That's perfect. I can see you on YouTube live. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's nice. Uh huh. Evelyn, that's cute. Okay, perfect. And that's Meher. Yeah, fantastic. So students, whatever you're seeing, Hitanshi, that's nice. Whatever you're looking at is called as augmented reality. Have you seen these, Vidushi, have you seen these places where, you know, you get a tiger on your bedroom, an elephant in the bedroom? Yeah, so all these are some of the augmented realities. So you would have seen that on WhatsApp, on Facebook, all these filters come into picture. How do they come? They don't simply come like that. You have to make the coding. You have to derive the coding one by one. Only when you derive the coding, one shika, you will get to know all these things one by one. I hope you understood now, everyone. So coding for you to learn coding, there are so many platforms out there. But if you want to learn something at free of cost, without any worries, there are two things that you're supposed to do. First thing, you have to look into the YouTube live session of Vasudevan and Rajan. Yeah, my name is Vasudevan. You have to regularly come to my sessions free of cost and you have to look at the way we speak, the way we engage, the way we play games. We'll learn lots of things. I like interacting with the students and that's what I'm doing. Yeah, Tanushri, did you like it? Yeah, on a daily basis, we'll be doing this. And right after that, the second method is you have to use all those websites, which doesn't really incur much of cost. Say, for example, Scratch. We made such a beautiful program on Scratch without any cost. So Scratch, MIT App Inventor are some of the applications with which you can learn coding to a very, very high level. I'll be teaching lots and lots of coding students. But right now, today with the game, maze game, I would like to end the session. And with this particular session, I would like to request everyone tomorrow to make a maze game by yourself and, and show me some of the results on YouTube comments. If you want to actually join the training program by Super Teacher Edu Reforms, you have to go to the website called as superteacher.in. Yeah, you'll, you'll have this option of curiosity coming on the top. It's a summer camp on which you know, you can learn lots of uh, activities like storytelling, Python programming, creative writing, doodle art, scratch programming, artificial intelligence, Python and whatnot. It's a proper 40 hours engagement. It's a perfect program. I'll meet you all there in case if you would like to properly get trained or else for seven days. This is the second day Code India Code Challenge. Here we'll be regularly making lots and lots of codes. Another five days to go with more programs and more interesting softwares. If you like the session, you have to tell me bye and you can carry on with your day. Did you do that? Take care, students. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow back again. Enjoy. Have a nice time. Oh my God, at Sunday, Kalse School. Okay. <laughs> Have a nice time. I, I really wish the lockdown to get closed very soon and you all go to the school very soon. It's been such a boring one year holiday. It's, it's not that great, right? Yeah, you have to go to the school, play around with people, meet the teachers, meet your friends. Remember to wear the mask for another one year at least. Okay. Chalo. Take care, students. Have a nice time. I'll see you tomorrow back again. Take care. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Great interacting with one and all. It's real fun to talk to all the students out there. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Have a nice time. You can come back and look at this video. You can subscribe to this channel called a Super Teacher Official. Yeah, the place where the, uh, you know, live is going on right now. You will get regular notifications over here and you can attend lots and lots of sessions. I'll meet you very soon back again tomorrow with multiple more games. Bye. Bye, everyone. Great interacting. Ta-da.